The function of information technology in this new century, especially in education, is of fundamental importance. A pleasant day to everyone. We are the Group 2A from BSN 3G. I am Salve Larise Dupaina, and with me are my co-researchers, Samela Espende, Sean and Manuel Estremadura, Janelle Edpubanas, and Dan Floyd Fernandez, from the University of St. LaSalle College of Nursing. Today, we will be presenting our research study entitled, Perceptions of Nursing Students Towards Flexible Remote Learning. In 2020, with the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic, information technology has made a significant contribution as it provided an alternative for students to continue their education. The pandemic interrupted and forged massive changes in the education sector worldwide by having academic institutions abruptly transition from traditional to remote learning. Remote learning, also known as distance education or online learning, is a form of education where there is physical separation of teachers from students during the instruction and learning process. Significantly, it presented various challenges for students enrolled in a nursing program as it affected their hands-on experiential learning. In this regard, it is more vital than ever to learn about nursing students' perspectives on this new online-based method of instruction, whether they perceive it to be beneficial or disadvantageous to their learning experience. The purpose of this study was to explore the perceptions of nursing students towards flexible remote learning during the COVID-19 pandemic. By recognizing and analyzing students' perceptions towards this new approach in education, effective and efficient plans and strategies can be developed and implemented to further improve the delivery of courses in flexible remote learning applied in nursing schools. This study was a qualitative descriptive type of research that utilized the collection and analysis of non-nominal data to obtain a clear understanding of the ideas, opinions, and perceptions of nursing students regarding the stated topic. The participants of the study were seven level 3 nursing students, one from each of the seven sections of BSN 3A to BSN 3G, chosen through purposive and unprobability sampling. The participants were identified using the following criteria. They were enrolled at the College of Nursing at a local university in Bacolod City, were regular full-time nursing students with Category 2B and 3 internet connectivity, and were either male or female. These seven students were given informed consent and pseudonyms when they agreed on their voluntary participation in this research. Ethical considerations were also observed to maintain anonymity and confidentiality of data. For the research instrument, in-depth interviews were utilized as a method of data collection. The interview consisted of two parts. First, the demographic profile of the participants, such as age, year level, section, connectivity status, and devices used for flexible remote learning. Second, the responses to our primary guide question, what is your perception of flexible remote learning during the COVID-19 pandemic in regards to how the delivery of nursing education via an online platform has affected their health, relationships, and readiness to embark as future nurses? After the analysis and interpretation of data gathered through in-depth interviews, three main themes were derived from the results and discussion. The first theme was the positive perceptions of FRL, and eight sub-themes were identified. These sub-themes were as follows. First, flexible learning experience. FRL has provided the participants with the autonomy to accomplish their tasks anytime and anywhere and negotiate deadlines. Second, easy access to online resources. Most of the participants expressed that online learning resources are readily available with just one simple search. Next, convenience studying at home. Participants mentioned that they do not need to travel to school and they could attend classes anywhere using their mobile devices in the comfort of their home. Next, increased family time. Participants verbalized that FRL has provided opportunities to connect with their families and develop stronger bonds. Next, user-friendly LMS platform. Participants deemed the LMS such as Canvas for a simple and efficient way to manage their learning experience. Another is immediate feedback. FRL made participants directly connect with their teachers to have a simple and direct feedback using social media platforms and LMS such as FB Messenger or Canvas. Another is positive adaptation behavior. This emphasizes how the participants adapt themselves to the changing and challenging situations by being resourceful and flexible with their learning styles. And lastly, opportunity for self-growth. This discusses how FRL developed the maturity and responsibility of the participants with regards to their education. The second major theme derived focused on their negative perceptions of flexible remote learning. In this theme, four sub-themes were identified. First, in conducive learning environments. This refers to the participants' home environments that also served as their makeshift classrooms. The participants expressed the disadvantages of learning from home with three significant statements. First, 
environmental noises, such as construction, pests, and outside chatter that distracted them during their class sessions. Second, being disrupted and or asked to complete family obligations, such as chores or caring for a sibling by their relatives. And third, internal distractions, this referring to being easily coaxed and distracted by the relaxing environment of their rooms. The second sub-theme is the connectivity challenges. Although the participants were of connectivity 2B or 3, the two highest connectivity levels in terms of internet service, statements of Rampart unscheduled power outages or poor service from internet providing companies have detrimentally affected their ability to attend synchronous classes and complete their tasks. The third sub-theme was ineffective delivery of synchronous and or asynchronous classes. All of the participants expressed having experienced ineffective management of synchronous and asynchronous class time, in which they were overloaded with work in short periods of time and suffered enduring long class periods where their teachers presented concepts in poor methods that made learning difficult. They stated that the concepts being taught, especially their skill-based and clinical concepts, were poorly discussed. Thus, they are not able to retain and gain an understanding of their topics. The last sub-theme was the inability to achieve desired level of competence. With the delivery of nursing education highlighted as ineffective, each of the participants verbalized a complete lack of confidence in their ability to emerge as competent nurses in the future. Significant statements include a lack of retention, understanding, and application of learned knowledge and skills, and a lack of sufficient practice and exposure to actual scenarios. Lastly, the third major theme was incorporated a flexible remote learning for future nursing education delivery. Two sub-themes were derived in this theme, which are the following. Positive opinions, where the participants emphasized the usefulness of online classroom setup in a pandemic setting, as well as the helpfulness of FRL as a supplemental learning method in the future. And negative opinions on the incorporation of flexible remote learning. So participants mentioned that FRL is not appropriate for skill-based and clinical-related courses. This type of learning, when incorporated as a full-time learning modality, does not pressure or motivate students. FRL would make the nursing student develop poor delivery of hands-on skills as well as not provide any concrete hospital experience. Lastly, FRL does not promote a sense of fulfillment. Considering all the data gathered throughout the research process with proper analysis, here are the conclusions of the study. The perception of nursing students towards flexible remote learning is negative. A home does not promote a conducive learning environment for studying due to numerous internal and external distractions. Connectivity challenges or sudden power outages interrupt their continuous learning flow as they cannot attend synchronous meetings. The teaching methods utilized are ineffective in delivering nursing concepts and lessons. Participants do not feel prepared with the sufficient skill and knowledge to be considered as competent nurses in the future. These findings significantly portray how the utilization of FRL as a method for delivering nursing education has presented itself as a challenge for nursing students in their nursing journey. Thus, we hope that these results can provide insight to the nursing administration and faculty on the areas requiring improvement in order to provide their students with better education, utilizing flexible remote learning methods present and in the future. These are our references. That concludes our presentation for today. Thank you for your time and attention in listening to our research study entitled Perceptions of Nursing Students Towards Flexible Remote Learning. May God bless us all.